Welcome to East Coast LQ Views. Today, we're reviewing a beer by Six Point Brewery. This is their resin double IPA. It says, we remember our first sip of hoppy beer. Do you nearly spit it out? Now we fantasize about this stuff, thinking about those hop cones bursting with juice, ripe as all hell. Makes you look forward to that first resin all day long. Oh, where's the ABV? Oh, okay, on the other side. Uh, it says beer is culture, 9.1% alcohol by volume. Um, I have had this before, uh, but I actually just bought a can just to kind of drink, and then I realized I haven't reviewed it, so I thought, you know, might as well do a beer review. Uh, so I bought a single can for $239, so not a bad price. The uh, best buy date is September 1st, 2023, and it is June 13th, 2023, so six. 6, 13, 23, so still got three months shelf life left. Yeah, without further ado, let's crack it open, go for the pour, check out the appearance. Did just cut my finger on something, so I'm trying not to touch the glass with my sliced finger. Oh, and it's making an absolute mess. Nice. I don't know why it was pouring like that. Don't have any napkins right now. It's all right, we'll deal with that after. All right, the appearance. Pours a uh, slightly hazy golden orange. Uh, yeah, looks pretty good. Nice uh, one and a half finger, super sudsy. Um, off-white colored head, different size bubbles on the side, good amount of effervescence though. Uh, I believe you would call this a, now Beer Advocate and Untapped, we're just calling it a an Imperial IPA. Um, and I don't think it's technically considered a West Coast, so I'm gonna guess it's an American by the uh, slight haze it's got. So there's a little bit of clarity, but definitely some haziness. Good look of beer, let's go for the nose. Pine, grapefruit, some caramel malt, mango. Good amount of breadiness. Good amount of breadiness. <laughs> yeah, not overly sweet. Not overly uh, hop resin forward on the nose. Good balance of the two. 9.1% is definitely well hidden. A bit of like some citrusy orange in there as well. Let's uh, dive in, try it out. Cheers. It's solid. It's got a medium mouthfeel, medium carbonation, a little bit of a prickly carbonation. I like that. So the body of the beer is pretty good. It does have kind of like a slightly fuller and creamy mouthfeel. Good amount of sweetness from the caramel malt. So yeah, caramel. Caramel malt and breadiness. This is definitely more, um, it's more caramel malt, breadiness, piney hop resin than kind of like that burst in citrusy or tropical flavor, which I don't mind. Um, there's a little bit of mango in there. Mango, tangerine, orange peel. It's got a little bit of that like orange peel, grapefruit, kind of like pithy, like bitterness on the back end. Super crushable for 9.1%. Can't even tell. Um, that it is 9.1%, so there's like no boozy backburn. It's got a little bit of a lingering uh, floral finish, which is which is nice. If you like uh, like the hop resin, like they say, resin. If you like that hop resin finish, 
Um, I think you would really enjoy this. Yeah, for the most part, I think, like I said, I think it's more of like a floral, hop resin, um, creamy mouth feel with some caramel malt sweetness and breadiness rather than bursting with like citrusy flavor. There is a decent amount of citrusy flavor, but I do feel like all those flavor notes kind of cover that orangey citrus. Overall, it's a solid beer. I mean, $2.39 for a single can is a steal for sure. Um, you buy a six pack of these, you could definitely finish off a six pack in a night. Uh, the beer itself is super drinkable for what it is. I do kind of miss drinking stuff like this. Because New England IPAs, they do tend to get very filling. And then when you go back to a beer like this, like more of like an American lighter style, more going more towards like a West Coast style, the drinkability is just increased by a lot. Um, of course, I'm sure the calories on this is probably lower than like a New England IPA as well. So you're probably better off if you're uh, watching your calories. But I mean, if you're drinking IPAs to begin with, you're probably not counting calories in your beer. Overall, I think it's a solid product. I, I believe it deserves a solid 90. Now I would go like 92, but I do kind of wish it had a little bit more of the citrusy and tropical flavors in it. Um, but overall giving it that 90 because of the drinkability of the beer and uh, it's just it seems like it has its purpose and um, the average consumer if you're looking for something that has that hop resin kind of slightly like dank um, earthy like finish I think you would really enjoy this product um, this has been pretty popular I know it's kind of like a staple for Imperial IPAs um, I hear nothing but good words about this beer. Um, I haven't met anybody that wasn't a fan. Uh, so these guys, it says formulated brewed by Six Point Brewery out of Brooklyn, New York, um, in Partsburg, Pennsylvania, in Downingtown, Pennsylvania. Uh, it's got the Brooklyn, New York right on the top of the can there. And yeah, like I said, I'm going to recommend it all day. If you're looking for um, hop resin forward, 9.1% Imperial IPA for what? So they don't upcharge on single cans. So this would probably be like a $13 six pack. Um, I believe they come in, I think it's a six pack, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, like a 13, even if it's $14, like a $14 six pack, I would say it's worth the money all day for sure. And uh, yeah, there you have it. If there's anything else you guys like to see on my channel, make sure to leave a comment down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Like a beer. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.